I listened to this week is an album that I heard in possibly, I, I think the year it came out, so 2005. Now, I've, leave it. Um, now, I've been, trying to, I've been trying to actually date when I, when I listened to this, because I was in the back of a car in Northern Ireland with my mates Jim and Pete. Hi, um, Jim and Pete. Hi, Jim and Pete. Uh, Jim and Pete, uh, I, went to, uh, <laughs> I went to university with <laughs> Jim and Pete. Um, and I lived with them in the final year of university and it was a wonderful, wonderful time and we had many a laugh. Um, and I went over to Ireland to visit and I don't get over there as often as possible. I got excited about what it might be. It's not like the cranberries or something cool, is it? Let me t- do you want to know my cranberry story? No. All right. Okay. My cranberry Did you meet her? No, my cranberry story. I know you love her. No, my cranberry story is that whilst at university, no British bands would play at the University of Ulster at Coleraine because okay. it was all a bit blowy uppy at the time. <laughs> it was a bit shooty, blowy uppy. Bit breezy. Yeah, bit sort, bit sort of um, uh, uh, troubly um, at the time. Um, and very few bands used to play. I saw a wonderful band called The Pale, who then just just disappeared completely. Um, uh, Butterfly <laughs> by The Pale is brilliant. No, they were too pale. <sighs> It refers to the, um, the, the, the boundaries of, around Dublin during occupation by the English in, in, in Cromwell's time. And if you went past the Pale, then you, you ended up in the bandit country. And that's why something is beyond the Pale. Um, you know, it's, it's not what beautiful society does. Anyway, that's my understanding. Anyway, so Cranberries, um, there was a band called the Bundu Boys who always used to play. Who, okay. were, who were like a, a, an African um, uh, world music band. And everybody used to go and see the Bundu Boys all the damn time. And I was sick of seeing the damn Bundu Boys. And then this band came up and I'd never heard of them. And they were playing in the bar. And I just thought, oh, I can't be bothered. So that was my opportunity to see the Cranberries. Oh. So I didn't go. And all my mates went and they oh, said, yeah, it was a really good band. And, and then they released their, 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 their massive album. You could have like, seen her face. A couple of months later. It was literally a, a room as big as the one we're in now, which you have no concept of, but it's not a very big room. Um, and I, I could have seen the Cranberries and I didn't. So anyway, so there I was with Jim and Pete in a car. And Jim said, have you heard this album? And I said, no, because I don't listen to as much music as you do and you're constantly finding new music because he is he's, he's he's you know he's proper muso yeah, like yeah. you know he's, he's just just love stuff um and he said he's by an american band called the national okay um and i said well i have never heard of such such a band <laughs> do tell me more who are these gentlemen indeed who are these national gentlemen um and it was a it was an album called alligator okay from 2005 and they played the first track and I thought that's really good it's it's a it's a nice sort of you know dour rock song okay um and then they played the next track and I thought actually no this is this is musically really interesting and then I listened to the whole album and there are on that album six tracks that I could happily listen to for the rest of my life forever okay. If you had to listen to nothing else. If I had to listen to nothing else, and then I was told, right, you know, here you go, I would think, "Mm, you know what? This is the soundtrack to the rest of your life. Yeah, part part of the national, yeah, you know, I'd, 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 yeah, yeah, it's 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 secret meeting, able, um, lit up. Geese of Beverly Road is brilliant. Mister November, you know, there's some really good songs, and this is a bit of a. I'm chancing it because I actually think this, and I did some good, hard, long thinking. I actually think that you might like this. This Ooh. isn't just me saying here's something because it's it's quite dour. Okay. Um, some of the lyrics are really, really interesting. Uh, some of the musicality is interesting as well. The Geese of Beverly Road is sort of clarinets and drums, and okay. and it's. it's it, it might be too John avant-garde. No, it's but at the same time, it's not. It's like they've got lit up. It's just a big stadium rock song. Okay. Um, so they do they they do all of this. Um, they've now released oh who knows how many albums. I've, I've probably got three or four of them. They they they're one of the big stadium bands. Um, they're one of the bands that people like Enemy and Mute and, and um, uh, Uncut and all the all the like sort of serious music journalists say that they're yeah. one of the best bands in the world. Okay. Um, they're very sort of sort of almost dad rock. 
Oh, I'm all right with not, Dad Rock, though. I do but, like but they're Dad not, Rock. because they're not from that period. They're just sort of, you know, that sort of serious rock music that's not like sort of, you know, I wouldn't, I'd say almost later period Green Day stray yes. into that, yeah, into yeah. like being Foo serious Fighters. about it. Yeah, a bit of... Bit of Foos, because Foos started off like yeah, quite yeah, jaunty actually, with actually, like Let's yeah. Fly, but yeah. now Foos have really, with their latest ones like St. Cecilia and that. Yeah, and not, as, not as heavy as the Foo Fighters. Okay, I wouldn't say that Foos are heavy. Well, you know what I mean, it's, 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 there's, 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 there's more sort of, in the production, there's a lot of like sort of sort of drum kit cymbal sort of stuff up, up front in the production of this album. Okay. And it's not it's not like guitar heavy. Okay. Um, and they use different things, and they've they've got they've got um, uh, they use a wonderful um, uh, woman doing backing vocals on it to to add much more texture. Okay. To the whole thing, and she's got a particular voice that I think is 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 glorious in 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 their songs, and yeah, it's it's it's. It's intelligent rock music done by miserable people. Um, they are they are arch miserableists. Um, Mr. November was apparently written for um, uh, 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 the for, to celebrate Barack Obama, sort okay. of as as they were coming up to the election. So his first election okay. victory, because it because uh, the elections always happen in November. So yeah, he's yeah, Mr. Yeah. November, and and the refrain, "He won't fuck us over." I'm Mr. November. I won't fuck you over. Yeah. Um, it's 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 like. It's okay. just really good, I'm, I, and I hope that this is going to be at least a top half score. I hope because uh, we haven't done well with the listen to. No, we really, really haven't. From you, my listen tos have gone okay. Yeah, but your look outs have been pretty damn poor. <laughs> How I mean, rude! Dear God, <laughs> at least I got a ten out of ten look at. What was that? Oh, your Alpha top Papa. ten. Oh, I know Papa. Yeah. Top ten was eight, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Top ten was eight. Oh, can I? Go on then. Me look outs. Yeah. This feels Ooh, rude. Show, us, show me your look at. <laughs> this feels rude. <laughs> Do you need to <laughs> re rate the the how, the year of the rabbit after the 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 joke in the carriage? <laughs> what did I give the year of the rabbit? I, I feel remember. like you're not on the camera. Oh, I sorry. feel like you gave it an A. I think I, I think I may have given it an eight. I might mm. have given it a seven. Was it an eight? You know what? What once, do you think it is? Once, once the once series tied up. <laughs> <laughs> if you've watched the Year of the Rabbit, you know exactly what we're talking <laughs> about. He's in the back of the carriage, and he said he's got something in his pocket. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to leave it there, <laughs> and it will make you cry. You know what? It's still it, it, yes. when I think about it, it it's still glorious. makes me laugh. It, it's it's exactly it's glorious. It's it's like moments from Alpha Papa that make me laugh when yeah. I start thinking about them, like Michael pooing in a cup in a, in a, <laughs> <laughs> a Tupperware. No, no, it's it's yeah. It needs to be a nine. It needs yes. to be a nine. Yes. That that was that so was my good decent look at. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And Catherine Ryan. Yeah, Catherine Ryan was all right. Okay. Yeah. And I'm going to smash that, by the way. Okay, your films. Your films have been pretty poor. Okay, so I need to get a better film. Yeah. Well, I'm going to smash it this week with my look at. Go on, then. Smash it. So, I know we're going to wrap this up, but it needs to have context. Okay. There has been a bit of a recent thing of comedians yeah. bringing out series. Right? Yes. So, my... I know that there was, like, is it home... Or something. Is it home outnumbered? Well, it was outnumbered with the Hugh Dennis. Oh yeah, yeah, possibly. yeah, yeah. And I know it's been a thing for a, a but, while. But that, but that was more. But an, I but, don't feel like any of them. But that got was good. more. That was more of an Andy Hamilton project. Andy Hamilton's the writer behind that. Who's 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 a great writer. And I didn't get. I haven't gotten into any. Okay. Okay. And the first one that came along that I got into was when the. Glorious Greg Davies, who's my one of my favourite people in the world, yeah. did Man Down. And I liked Man Down. It was awkward, it made you cringe a lot, but I enjoyed it. I've been trying to get back into that, because okay. I watched the first episode and hated it with a passion. And I've tried to get into it, and I'm watching it on, 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 on all four. Yeah. Um, and the thing is, I, 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 I've got to say, I'm just sitting there just thinking... I wish Roisin Connerty was the star of this. So, bringing me on to my <laughs> next thing, Roisin had a stab, and my goodness, and, oh, did she have a stab. Oh, was, that, was a, that, that wasn't was a stab, that glorious. was out of the park. That was so out of the ballpark. So she brought in Game Face, which Ga I oh. loved. Love, love, love. Yep. 
And then we had, but he is the king of sitcom anyway. Um, Ricky Gervais came back with yeah. Afterlife. Have you seen this? No, oh. I'm I'm not a huge Ricky Gervais fan. I'm <gasps> going to be honest with you. Love him. I might try and convert you. Uh, don't try too hard. It's like, like if, 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 I was, if I was given the opportunity to watch a version of The Office, it would be the American one all day long. I never really got into The Office, but I really like his stand-up. Have you have died into the stand-up? I've done some stand-up, and, and it's, it's got everything that I should like. But I just don't like him. I, when I was waiting to be induced, I took a Ricky Gervais um, DVD and my laptop into the hospital and yeah. I was sat there in my earphones <laughs> expecting a child, which is quite a lovely, yeah. beautiful thing. Yeah. And I was just laughing at this awful man saying cunt a lot, going <laughs> Um Incidentally, uh, I, I, I did listen to a wonderful stand-up album today uh, by uh, a, a stand-up called Nato Green, who's uh, an American uh, stand-up, and he's uh, the white. Just, just, just off, off, off the subject. The the Nato Green, the whiteness album, which is on Spotify. Other streaming things are available. Available. Yeah, very good. Very good. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Anyway, so carry anyway, on. Anyway, so all these sitcoms have been coming yeah. up, and then I saw a trailer. For the lovely Ashling B has done one. Yes. With, is it Sharon? Sharon Horgan. 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 <laughs> Who, <laughs> as because I really want to put an O in there. Yeah. Because I'm not sh- I'm not sure of her name, her last name. Yeah. But um, who I know from, Disa- what was it? Disaster? It, it, no. Um, um, uh, with the American guy. With Rob Delaney and it was called Catastrophe. Catastrophe. I watched that for a bit. And then the second series lost me because there was a lewd moment where she told he told her to put her finger up his bum. Okay. And then their child walked in. And okay. I went, no! <laughs> <laughs> did you catch Sharon Horgan's one that she did for um, Sarah Jessica Parker? Divorce. No. no. That was brilliant. Was that, that was on good? Sky Atlantic. Okay. Um, and, and again, really prickly sort of just, you know. So I quite like her. Yeah. But I gave up on that. So it's her and Ashling B. And I saw the trailer and I went... I went, I really like Ashlyn B. Yeah. But I, but in that moment when I watched that, I judged it and I went, oh yeah, because all the other comedians have been successful with their little sitcoms. We're going to have another one giving it a go. Because <laughs> that's what's happening now, isn't it? That's what's happening. So It has been happening for quite some time, you know. Yeah, but there have been a recent stream of relatively successful ones all on the same channel. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And they're all friends. They're all the same yeah. little group of mates. Yeah, it's it's almost as if the 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 um, the the eighties comedians who did exactly the same thing in the eighties. <laughs> but I, I wasn't yeah, aware yeah. of that. Anyway, yeah. so I thought, oh. and then I think my hubby was away, and I'd exhausted everything else, and I went, I'll just I'll watch it, see what happens. And it is stunning, <laughs> it's stunning because it's not. It's the, you know, like, Roisin's is funny. Yeah. And you know how Man Down is cringy and awkward as hell. Yeah. It's not funny. She's not made a, I'm a comedian making a sitcom. Yeah. She's made, I'm an actress making a sitcom. Now, if you've, if you've ever heard Ashleen B talk about her life. Yeah. You'll know she's a trained actress. Yeah. She 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 didn't she's do, I she, didn't she, know. Th- yeah. No, she's not a comedian by but she sort of it, one of these people fell, fell into, into sort that. of comedy roles yeah. and then sort of became comediany rather yeah. than being the actress that she wanted to be. So she yeah. So it's it's Ashling B being an actress and it's Ashling B tackling something which seems to be a trend with us at the moment but that's fine. Yeah. Mental health. Yeah. And she's come I won't tell you too much because the story unfolds, but basically it starts with her leaving rehab. Mm. So she had like an emotional breakdown. Sharon is her sister. And the oh, the moments between them are beautiful. They're so beautiful and they're so real and normal. So not a lot can happen, mm. but a lot happens. Like there's this one moment where um, Ashing B starts squeezing a spot on the back of Sharon's like shoulder, and it's just so lovely because when she's doing it, she's going, uh, and she's going, "This is really disgusting." And she goes, "Well, don't do it then." And she goes, "I can't let you go out of the house like that in case someone sees you and vomits." <laughs> <laughs> 
And the sistership between them is gorgeous. So yeah. Sharon's the big sister, and she's obsessed with making sure that Ashling is okay because she's the one that picks her up from rehab. Yeah. And they end up spending it like they just go into each other's flats and things. And it's about Ashling trying to piece her life back together. And what's really lovely is that she's Ashling B, that we know. Mm. You know, she's like funny and she's confident. And then yeah. you see this moment where she's like crying in the toilets. And it's all just a, f- a falsity and she can't hold it together. Yeah. But she wants her sister to think that she is. And it's really, really stunning. It's lovely. And it's, it's yeah, such a good program. What is it called? This Way Up. This Way Up? Channel 4? Yeah, I think yeah? so. So I'll get it on all four. Yeah. Fabulous. So I will I will send you a link there to... There are only like six episodes. Oh, well, that's fine then. Knock it out Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. fine. Because I, I, I know that my next look at is, is, is going to be a challenge. Okay. Because of the fact that there are hundreds of episodes. Lord! It's okay. <laughs> if, it's, if it's enjoyable, I yeah. can binge anything. Exactly, I right. I did like two series of The Walking Dead in one day. I looked out the window and it was dark and I was like, oh, I've been watching this for eight hours. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the action of a normal person. My brother had broken like his neck and his back and every bone that he owned. So he wasn't going anywhere. That he owned. <laughs> he wasn't going anywhere. So he broke some that he'd been, he'd been lent as well. <laughs> some that terrible. he borrowed. I think yeah. he did break some he borrowed. That doesn't surprise me at all. So. Right, so that's that's the challenge for this week. Alligator by The National. Yes. Which I will, will force you, to, you can listen to on the way home. Um, and um, what is it called? Ashling B, This Way Up. This Way Up by Ashling B and Sharon Horgan's in it and it sounds Fabulous. If you have any thoughts on anything that we've said, then you can uh, email. Are we friends yet? <laughs> Stop wiggling. Um, you can email. <laughs> are we friends yet at, at outlook.com. Outlook.com. On Twitter, it is. Oh, you give me the hard one. Um, friends yet pod? At friends yet on Twitter. <laughs> Instagram. Instagram. Are we friends yet pod? pod? And Facebook. Are we friends yet hashtag podcast? And we don't know why. <laughs> uh, big question at the end. Are we friends yet? I, th- I, think, I think you're a creepy pervert. <laughs> so yes, we are friends.